Yes. Uh, a point of order, Mr Jacob Rees-Mogg. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. First of all, may I say how delighted I am that you have decided to follow precedent, which is something I am greatly in favour of. And dare I say, there is more joy in heaven over one sinner who repented than the 99 who are not in need of repentance. But I wondered if he might help the House with a two points of clarity. The first is, would his indication today prevent the second reading, or even the first reading, of the so-called Wade Bill that may have the same effect of confirming uh, the meaningful vote? And would I be right in thinking that a new session after a prerogation would allow the motion to be re returned to the House? Well, I think that the House would decide on the principle of the wave bill at second reading if we got to that point. The point that the Honourable Gentleman makes, and the, if you'll forgive me saying so, partly rhetorical question accompanying it about post-prerogation and a new session, uh, seems to me to be self-evidently valid. Uh, I am not advocating that, but that point is self-evidently valid. And I thank the Honourable Gentleman for what he said. Uh, I will come to it.